Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. So today's video is about wages and modern day slavery. Many of you realize that prisoners do work when they're in prison. And so these can be jobs that are anywhere from raking leaves and, and pruning the roses out in front of the Capitol to answering the phone at the servicearizona.com call center. You might not realize that when you call Service Arizona with some sort of an issue with your driver's license or your license plates, or you wanna figure out where their address is, that the first person who answers the phone is not a state worker, well, they are kind of a state worker, but the first person who answers the phone is a prisoner. And so the people who work in the call center for servicearizona.com are the highest paid prisoners we have at $3 an hour, but that is still well below minimum wage, which is $12 an hour. The thing is that prison labor is has a variety of wages and some are as low as 10 or 25 cents an hour, and then you're also dinged if you don't know English very well, and I'm not sure what the um, criteria is for how well you know English. And so anyway, so obviously uh, prisoners don't make enough money, and um, but do they need money? And yes, they do need money. You may have seen my article that I wrote a few weeks ago about fees that are being charged by corporate America. These are the bank fees, the insurance fees, the, uh, the uh, apartment complex fees, the university fees, there's a lot of fees. Well, prisoners get charged fees even though they're stuck in jail or in prison. And so, for example, when you are put into prison, you get one orange jumpsuit for free. And then if you need another one, you're going to have to buy it. Also, if you want to see the doctor, you have to pay a fee to see the doctor uh, in order to get the appointment. So they have to accumulate money in their accounts um, to do this. And so um, there has been a push at the Capitol for all the prison wages to go up to $3 an hour. But I agree with the unions in that when you have a significant number of workers working for less than minimum wage, that that undercuts the rest of the workers in this state. So why would somebody pay a regular employee $12 an hour if they can get a prisoner who's gonna work for $3 an hour or less? We should not be doing this. If somebody is working in the state of Arizona and doing a, a, a job, a real job, they should make minimum wage regardless of where they live, including if they live in prison.